Okay, so what we have here is a highly modified tube <laughs> on an angle. We've got a plastic tube with a 135 gram ball here. It's around, rolls, you can hear it. Okay, this is at a 10 degree angle, all right? And what we're gonna do is we've got our, our smartphone simulator here. Yep. That's nice. Very agnostic, I can't tell you which one that is, but it's our smartphone simulator. And we've got a 0.8 millimeter uh, strengthening glass, a competitive glass that's loaded into this, okay? All right, we've got this set up on a ramp, and what Kevin's gonna do is pull that little pin, and we're gonna see this ball roll down the ramp. Let's see what happens. Ooh, one impact, 10 degrees. That's ugly. Okay, you can see it very, very close there on the screen, okay? So again, I should add, all of these have been scratched, okay, on the back end with that seven newton load, okay? So we've been, these are imparted, these have been pre-stressed to show you what happens with retained strength, okay? We're gonna load next. We've got Corning Gorilla Glass 3. This is actually 0.7 millimeter, a little bit thinner than the aluminum silicate glass we put in there before. The same 10 degree angle. We're gonna take the ball. Kevin, pull it. Boom. All right, how's that look? Let's hold that up for a little Okay, pointing to it there, the smartphone simulator, not a, not a blemish on the glass, all right? So if you've seen demos in the past, we, we don't stop here, right? No, we, we don't. You know, why would we stop here? Let's take it up to 30 degrees. And this is actually gonna, when you do the calculations, this takes the impact energy up by a factor of three on the, on the glass. Okay, so 30 degree angle. Before we go putting a good old Gorilla Glass 3 in there, let's, let's go to metal first. This is a 0.8 millimeter thick piece of aluminum. It's your cardboard, okay? And what we're going to do is put that in there, load that in the tray, and release it. Now what you'll see, get a good little view up here, you can see that impact. Kevin will flash it for you, you can see the, the light glinting off, and it's pretty evident dent in the glass. All this is meant to do is give you a feel for what kind of impact energy is coming down the pipe, so to speak. All right, what am I going to do next? Yes, your own glass three, let's load it. Okay, 0.7 millimeter. Put it in again, again, this has been Beat up already because it's got a scratch in the back of it. Let's see what happens. I don't know, two, three bounces on that. How's that look? That looks pretty good. I don't see anything on that. Okay, it's that retained strength even after a flaw event that's in the back of the glass. But we don't stop there, do we? No, we Let's don't. take it out. Why would we? We have another toy up here we haven't played with yet. That's right. All right, so what Kevin's going to do is take out this piece, the already scratched, now beat up piece of Gorilla Glass 3. And it's going to take a lever press and impart a concentric circle that takes it up to a little over 100 pounds of force on this already beat up piece of glass. I can see the glass even flexing in that. So yeah, that's, yeah. that's quite, a, quite a bit of force being put on that. How's that look? Beautiful. All right. There you have it, folks. So Gorilla Glass 3 with native damage resistance. It's going to be making its way onto many, many devices later this year.